Hi again, this is Mike Rogotsky in our Esri Canada Toronto office. In the second part of this demonstration, we're going to show how a layer can be synchronized from ArcGIS Enterprise to an ArcGIS Online organization using data from the City of Halifax. We've already set up a collaboration and the group that's being used in our ArcGIS Enterprise is this internal parks group. We can see the information about the collaboration and its owner, Ashley Reed. Now Ashley manages the ArcGIS Enterprise site but another user is the data custodian who manages the data in ArcGIS Enterprise and then determines when it will become available to use in ArcGIS Online. That's Quinn Davis. So Ashley is the owner of the group. We'll add Quinn. When Quinn logs in with her identity in ArcGIS Enterprise, she'll see that she's been added to the internal parks group and what that means is she can take any of her content that she has that's ready to be made publicly available such as this parks layer and put it into the group. Before we do that let's take a look at the data itself through the visualization tab and we'll see that this consists of parks in Halifax and some attribute information here that the public will no doubt enjoy having access to. So a couple of things that uh, one thing Quinn's going to do before she does this, since we want to make sure this is synchronized as copies, we see that we have enable sync already checked off. So that has global IDs on the data. We're also just going to keep track of who created the last updated features. Um, this will give us a little information about the data as it's being synchronized from the enterprise to the online environment. Once that update is made, I can go to the overview and share this with that internal parks group. So at this point in the process, the synchronization is actually starting to occur. We can see in our group for internal parks that we have a layer that's available to us in our ArcGIS Enterprise site. Now if we log out as Quinn and log back in as the administrator on the site, Ashley, we can go in and check the status of that collaboration. So under our settings in the collaborations, we saw where this was set up in a previous video with a collaboration and underlying workspace with the parks layers. We can see that we have a collaboration in progress. So if we go over to our ArcGIS Online site, we can see I'm logged in with my identity. If we go into those groups, we have our Halifax Park and Recreation Group, which is the one that we're using for the collaboration on the ArcGIS Online side. We'll see that that Parks layer is now available to me and it has been synced over. And if we take a look, we'll see it's been synced over as collaborated content. That means it's come from another organization. We can also see that it is now an ArcGIS Online URL to the service, not one to the ArcGIS Enterprise site. So we know that this is a copy. And much like we saw it in ArcGIS Enterprise, we have the layer available to us in ArcGIS Online now with that attribute information. Interestingly, this now exists as a layer in ArcGIS Online, and we can see the owner of it is the same owner that owns that collaboration that would be my that would be myself so the layer is now available in our group I'm gonna make one little change to that layer when I get to it again I want to make sure that the public has access to it and since this group is just um, an organization um, since um, I've only shared that with the organization through that group through the collaboration that is if I want to make the public have access to it so now if I were to log out, I still see that the public has access to this layer here and I don't need to worry about them being able to edit it or so on. They just have access to the attribute information that we were working with. So this is really good. Lots of good information here. If I were now to um, make a little change perhaps to that data. 
So perhaps Quinn has an update to this data set that she has, a new park which is going to be updated in ArcGIS Enterprise. So what Quinn can do, since she's logged in with her identity, um, we can see here that I have the same identity that I'm using on the Enterprise site. If I go to my portal, I can connect directly to the feature layer and make edits to it in ArcGIS Pro. So I'll bring that layer in and we have a new park which we've added that we'd like to add to our um, map or to our parks layer. So if I go to the folders that I have on my local machine, I have a file geodatabase that has this new parks layer. And we see it contains a park feature. So I'd like to get this into my ArcGIS Enterprise and have that then be available to the public as well. So I will make an edit here where I'll select that new park. I will then copy it and paste those attributes into the corresponding district classification here, keeping those source attributes. So now we see it's available in our ArcGIS Enterprise feature service. This will be available to me directly in my ArcGIS Enterprise, but I need to have uh, that scheduled sync occur at 10.30 tonight, when it would actually occur, or I can have the administrator kick off a sync workspace now, which will essentially take any changes that I have to our data set and allow those to be synchronized over. So that'll take a second to change. So while that's happening, I can go over to um, take a look at something behind the scenes, if you will. So all of this that we've been doing is through the portal and the ArcGIS UI. But we can script with the ArcGIS REST API to have further control and more information about our portal environments. We even see that there's a whole session, section here about distributed collaboration. So one of the things that we can do is log in to our portal sharing REST endpoint. And when I do that as the administrator, I can get access to a lot of information about my collaboration. So you can see I've, uh, I've done this before. So as I follow the trails here, I can get information about my specific collaboration, my collaboration workspace. See that it's the park layers. And I can get information about the different syncs and sync statuses that I'm working with. So if I look at the last sync status, we can see that I just had one a uh, couple minutes ago where we had a scheduled sync because we kicked one off manually. So that tells me that if I go back to my ArcGIS online public facing site, I'll actually sign in for this one. And if we take a look at that parks layer now, I should have that new feature from that park which I believe is Eastern Passage Park, available to me here. And there it is. So we can see that that park was synced over, that feature was added just a couple minutes ago. I'm the owner of it in ArcGIS Online, so I have that information there. So that's a look at how we can take layers, sync them from an ArcGIS Enterprise to online environment, make them accessible to the public, and how we can update those layers when new edits are made available.